So we got a new battery from EnjoyBot. Let's open her up. Oh, check it out. So I think this is a Group 24 battery. There's a manual and some kind of reminder card. We got our terminal bolts and some terminal covers. And there's the battery. Let's take a closer look. So we've got a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It says low temperature cutoff protection. Very nice orange and kind of like a carbon gray color scheme. I do like their color scheme. All right, so let's get a weight on this guy. And we have come in at 22 pounds exactly. All right, so we got a battery charger hooked up to the battery. Let's go ahead and plug it in and get to charging. And we are charging at 29 amps. I'll be back when it's charged. All right, so the battery is fully charged. We are hooked up to the shunt. Let's go ahead and turn the inverter on to start the test. And we are pulling 54, about 55 amps. We'll let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so the test is complete. And we got to 105.23 amp hours, 1,323 watt hours. All right, guys, so I've got the lid cracked open. Let's go ahead and pull it the rest of the way off. There we go. And what do we have here? We got double eight gauge for the negative side and we've got double eight gauge silicone wire for the positive. Let's see if we can get these out. There we go. All right, so our BMS is gonna be on this side. It says TP04S013-S, uh, 100 amp, and it looks like we do have a thermal probe going down into the top of the cells there, so we might have to cut this open even more, or actually I might have it right here. Nah, I don't think I can pull it. It's stuck on something. All right, so we'll just cut it open some more. There we go. Ah, yeah, it's glued. That's why we couldn't pull it all the way through. All right, so we're gonna hook up a charger and then see if we can freeze this. It might be cold enough already out. Let's see here. It's already 29.5 Fahrenheit. So it may already be shut off just because it's cold outside.
Okay, so we are charging, actually. So, what do we got? 25 amps going in. Alright, so let's hit it with a duster and see if it stops. Yeah, it did. So it stopped. Let's see if we can warm it up. There it goes, and we're back to charging. My thermometer here says we're at 20, 29. I'm not sure exactly what the cutoff's going to be. Oh, wait a minute. No, it did cut off. It just cut off by itself. I didn't spray it or anything like that. Okay, now it's back on. Let me see if this little piece of ice will do it. Yep. So the ice will turn it off. Okay, very good. If we warm it up. There it is. That's back. Awesome. So yeah, I think we got pretty good low temperature protection on this battery. Let's see if we can scan the top of these cells and figure out what they are. Yeah, I absolutely cannot get it to scan. The cell starts with OBZ. OBZCB. Yeah, I can't get it to scan, so I'm not sure what these are. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the video. I'll leave links in the descriptions to this battery. And I'll catch you in the next one.